Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger. We got another wrong build video for you today, and this is the Q60S, the 2017 Infinity. Let's go. All right, if you're coming back for another wrong build video, I just want to say thank you so much. You could be watching literally anything else on YouTube. So I'm super super thankful that you're here watching my videos and you've decided to come back for another one of these types of videos if you're new to this type of video or the channel welcome for the first time i'm trigger and i like to test cars here in need for speed heat and that's what this video series is all about i test every engine for these cars and then i make a build for track drag drift and off road so let's get into the most important part of this video we'll do it right here at the beginning of the video and that is the best engine for the car after testing the fastest engine is the 715 horsepower forged 5.0 liter v8 this engine ran a couple of seconds faster than the other forged motor and this is the one i will recommend all right let's move on to the rest of my track build as I have it so far. What we need to do now is take it on a Sonic run, but let me show you what I've got so far. We're running track suspension, Elite brakes, and Elite race tires. We've got the Elite Plus clutch, Elite seven speed gearbox, and the Super Track differential. The last thing that I wanna do here is I wanna dial in my live tuning settings, and I'm gonna do that using the Sonic race test. So let's take it out to Sonic, and then I'll give you the full track build with the live tuning and everything else. All right, so after testing it on Arian, I like the live tuning that I have here, but Arian's a much different course than Sonic. And if you test on both of those courses and you adjust for each of them, then you kind of get a very well-rounded live tuning. Each course, you could probably adjust your live tuning to get a better time, but I like to just test it on Arian, then come over to Sonic, and then kind of mix the two. And usually I keep the same live tuning no matter which race I'm doing, because I try for a very well-rounded live tuning, but it depends on the course, it really does. If you have a really, really tight, short course, your live tuning will be different if it's a wide open, very straight course. That being said, I recommend the most general live tuning that we can find, and to get that, I tested on Arian and I tested on Sonic. So what you're looking at now is actually this the live tuning for my Arian settings. Let's go ahead and go through Sonic and see if I need to make any changes. Sometimes it's the same. Let's see how this one feels though. And here we go, Sonic test. This car is insanely fast when it gets to 6th and 7th gear. 6th gear, 7th gear, and then it's top speed. It's very, very quick in the top range. It's kind of a slow starter, but it feels really, really fast on the top end. I'm very surprised by this car. I was expecting this thing to be really slow, to be honest with you. Not as wide as I would have liked. All right, fingers crossed on the uh, shortcut here. A little roundabout turn. Not super great. I cut a lot of time on that. I scrubbed. I, I slid a little bit, but we're doing all right. Now, what's nice about this car is you can use NOS to get you through the first five gears. Sixth and seventh gear are just really powerful. I'm very happy about that. Oh my goodness, has a lot of air after that after that jump. I should have slowed down just a little bit. That's going to cost me some time, but I'm going to run it anyway. All right, it's looking like a mid-40s time. Oh, oh well... That's not too bad. 41 it looked like. That's an early 40s time. 241.11. Oh my goodness. 241.11. Not too bad. Not too bad. What other cars go 241? The Volvo 242. 
Of course, with me driving, remember? And I'm not the, uh, the most skilled driver. I'm not terrible, but, you know. Uh, the BRZ does a 241. And the Evo 9 does a 241 with me behind the wheel. So, it's actually pretty good. I made some mistakes, too. I bet you we could do it under 240 if I really, really grinded and tried really hard. We could go under 240 with that. I made a few, a few small mistakes there. That being said, I'm so surprised at this car, man. I thought this was going to be super, super slow, but congratulations to infinity on this one dude this thing is absolutely a rocket ship when it gets into sixth and seventh gear and i just i didn't expect it i really didn't i know the stats are good on it i know that uh you it looks it looks amazing i mean this thing just looks insane but i did not expect this to be as fast as it is on the track now for my arian stat it ran a 256 Six. 256.6 that is really really good keep in mind that's without the shortcut i didn't do any shortcuts on that none of my testing is with shortcuts um as far as my my engine tests go but 256 with no shortcuts is uh is actually pretty good this thing's gonna rank really well let's see how it does on drag and then uh, we'll drift it around and then we'll take it in off-road. Before I get into the drag build though, let's go ahead and throw up the track build card. I'm leaving the pro settings where they were because it felt the best. It didn't need any changes going through Sonic. So here is my full track build. So we've got the forged 5.0 liter V8 engine, all ultimate plus engine parts, ultimate dual turbo, and the ultimate five by three pound NOS. For the chassis, we've got the track, super track suspension, Elite brakes, elite race tires on the drivetrain, elite plus clutch, elite seven speed gearbox, and the super track differential. Auxiliaries will be NOS duration and NOS refills. And then your live tuning is going to be steering sensitivity plus four, downforce minus two, traction control off, drift style gas. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can drag race this thing. Only a couple of changes for drag racing. You want to throw on the 1 by 15 pound NOS tank. You want to switch to a drag tire. And then we got to test the gearboxes to see which one's faster. We're leaving the same track engine in there. And most of the drivetrain is going to stay the same except for the gearbox. So we need a 5, 6, and a 7. We've got one of each. Let's take it outside. And let's see which one gives us the best quarter mile. All right, so with the 7-speed transmission, we've got a quarter mile of 9.07. We can improve that a little bit by dropping the downforce down. Nope, stays the same, 9.07. So we're gonna use this same exact downforce that we use for our track build. Steering sensitivity is not relevant for drag racing, traction control off, drift style gas. This is gonna be our live tuning because downforce usually affects quarter mile time, but on this case, it doesn't. So 9.07 with the seven speed. Let's drop in the six and let's see what happens. Six speed, here we go. The six speed actually drops the quarter mile down to 9.00. Now this is pretty interesting. Even with that play with the downforce, it's still 9.0. The six speed actually is a faster transmission for a quarter mile. Let's go ahead and put in the five and see what happens with that. With the five speed, it drops down even more. So the five speed transmission is really what you want for a drag racing for this car. It drops the quarter mile down to 8.93. All right, so this is the final drag build. Let's throw up the build card and check it out. The same forged 5.0 liter V8 engine, ultimate plus engine parts with the ultimate dual turbo, the ultimate one by 15 pound NOS, super track suspension, elite brakes and elite drag tires, elite plus clutch, super five speed gearbox, super track differential, NOS refills and NOS duration. For the live tuning, it is the, exactly the same as your track build. Steering sensitivity plus four, downforce minus two, traction control off, and drift style on gas. All right, let's drift this thing around. Before we get into the drift build, I just want to send a shout out over to OMG Surfy. This is another amazing wrap. I love it. It's clean. It's classic. 
He's got the wrap going around the back end of the car. This it fits the lines of the car. This thing is just awesome. And with this uh, this body kit, I did the Alchemist front with uh, I believe I don't remember if it's the Alchemist rear or not. But this set, this bumper set with the uh, with the diffuser and bumper, it just looks super super clean. So shout out to OMG Surfy. If you guys want to know how you can download this, if you're on Xbox. You just go to customization, head over to paint and wrap, go to community, and you can find this in your followed artist. If you followed OMG Surfy, up on the top left, you can see it right there, OMG Surfy. So if you find one of his wraps, you can follow him as an artist, and then you can get all of the wraps that he does for me and the Militia Gaming community. So here's another Militia wrap for the Q60. Go download it if you're on Xbox. If you're not on Xbox, sorry, you can't get it. Let's get to drift in this thing. All right, so there's a few things that we need to change to make this a drift car. The first thing I'm gonna change is I'm going back to the five by three pound NOS because I just don't wanna forget to change that and then go to race this thing on the track and then have a problem. It doesn't really have anything to do with drifting, but I wanna change it back. The suspension, we need to go to a super speed cross suspension. We're gonna leave drag tires on there. We might change those depending on how it feels, but we're gonna leave them on there for right now. And then the differential, we gotta go to a pro drift differential. And that's it for now. So let's test this out. This is the rear wheel drive drift setup. This is a standard rear wheel drive drift setup. Let's see how it feels and then we'll come back to it. The gearbox we're actually gonna leave on the five speed. Um, I don't think it's gonna matter too much because we are running this in an automatic fashion. We're not using manual transmission. So I think this will be fine. Um, but we may switch to the 7 just for simplicity later. Let's see what happens. Let's take it out. Uh, there we go. Alright, doesn't feel terrible. But something just isn't right. It's scoring high. 56k is not terrible for that section. Of course, it's not great either, but something just doesn't feel right. We might come back to these tires, but let's switch it real quick. Let's go to... Let's switch it over to the showcase tires and just see what happens. Whoa, with the angle, bro. Whoa. Whoa, with the angle. This thing just wants to slide around, bro. I don't think this is going to be as high of a score, though. I think that drag tires will give us more score. Maybe not. 57. So the same score, just way more angle. That feels a little harder to control, though, doesn't it? You really have to counter steer these tires. These tires really require some counter steer. Otherwise, you're definitely going to over rotate and spin out. I think they have more grip in the front, which causes a lot more rotation. See, that was only 50. I went a lot faster that time. This is interesting. The drag tires are a lot smoother in the transitions, they're not as quick. But the showcase tires transition really, really well. But they tend to over rotate a little bit. So this is an interesting one. This is kind of uh, kind of interesting to play with this. The drag tires I feel like are pretty good. There might be one thing that we can do to help the drag tires transition better and that is increase our steering sensitivity to plus five and drop our downforce all the way down just to give it a little extra slide and a little bit more turning angle. Let's do that, put the drag tires on, see how this feels. All right, this definitely feels better. I don't know if I'll score uh, as high. 
Yeah, not as high of a score, 41,000. Let's try this again. I think that was my fault. We're going back for one more round. There we go. No traffic. How I didn't lose my multiplier on that, I have no idea. 53, 261. Still not great, right? So it doesn't score as great as it should, but this build feels the best. It's a little tiny, tiny bit sluggish, but if you switch to the showcase tires, the car wants to over rotate and it's much harder to control. You can do it if you want, you get a little bit more angle. You might even score just a tiny bit higher, but this feels like a much more controllable build. And I think I'm gonna recommend this for sure. This is what I think most drivers should use. That being said, we took a lot of time to test this thing. And I know this video is gonna run long, so I'm not gonna do a drift montage on this one, but just know that this is an actually a pretty fun build to use. It works well. It just doesn't score as high as I would like it to. It's kind of in the middle of the field here. So let's throw up the drift build card and show you what the full drift build is. All right, same engine as before, the Forge 5.0 liter V8. We've got the Ultimate Plus engine parts with the Ultimate Dual Turbo and Ultimate 5 by 3 pound NOS. For the suspension, we want the Super Speed Cross suspension, Elite brakes, Elite drag tires. Again, if you want more angle, go to the Showcase tires. For the drivetrain, Elite Plus Clutch, Super 5-Speed Gearbox, and the Pro Drift Differential. Auxiliaries can be NOS refills, NOS duration. It's not super relevant to a drift build, but that's what that is. For the live tuning, you're going to use Max Steering Sensitivity, that's plus 5, and Minimum Downforce, minus 5 Downforce. Traction Control Off, Drift Style On, Gas. All right. Let's take this thing off-road. All right, for the off-road build, let's switch to the rally suspension and the off-road tires. And then the gearbox is going back to the seven speed. We're gonna switch the differential over to a rally diff and we should be good to go. This is actually really good stats for an off-road car. 10, 10, 9.8, and 10. Let's take it out to HTV2 and rumble and give it a test. All right, I expect a very slow start off the pavement. Most cars do, but this one has a slow start anyway. So I think it's gonna be extra slow. Yup, super slow. That's definitely gonna affect its overall time, at least by a second or so. Not bad off-road, man. Not bad at all. It's got good... It's got good straight-line speed. It's okay on the pavement. It's not, like, super, super fast. Really good straight-line speed in the dirt. I expect a time somewhere around 152, 153, somewhere in that range. Uh, hopefully we can pass these guys in clean fashion. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Oh my goodness. It ran a time in the 140s. This is a good one. 149.94. That is actually really good. Let's see where that ranks. Wow, that's top 10. That's top 10, dude. Ooh, this thing is quick on HTV2. That's top 10. Oh my God, if it puts up a good time on Rumble, this is gonna be exciting. This is gonna be really exciting. Okay, here we go, Rumble test. Better start off the dirt, definitely. Still not super fast, but it's all right. It's good enough. One thing I really liked is that it seems like it didn't clip very much on HTV2. 
which is nice. But on Rumble, it did. A little bit on that hill. But I don't know. This is nice, dude. This this feels good. Again, very surprising. Didn't expect it to do this well on off-road. I didn't expect it to do well on anything, to be honest with you. But I had a lot of comments saying that we should try this car. And, uh, man, I'm glad that I did. Because it is much faster, much better than I really anticipated, for sure. Alright, final lap, here we go. Man, passing second place before this corner, that's really good. I hope this time is good. It feels really good, but let's just see what happens. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh my god, I think we ran a 311. 311. 311.93, oh my... Oh my god, 311. We need to write this down before we forget. 311.93. Holy crap, dude. That's a, this is a top 10 off-road car. This thing is insane, dude. I love this build, too. This is perfect. Let's throw up the off-road build card. Let's get this thing going. I'll show you the ranks in just a minute. Same forged 5.0 liter V8 engine, Ultimate Plus engine parts with the Ultimate Dual Turbo, and the Ultimate 5x3 pound NOS. Super Rally suspension, Elite brakes, Elite off-road tires, Elite Plus clutch, Elite 7-speed gearbox, Super Rally Differential, NOS Refills, and NOS Duration. For the live tuning, we've got Steering Sensitivity plus 5, Downforce minus 5, Traction Control Off, Drift Style on Gas. This thing flies in the dirt. This is an amazing dirt build. All right, let's sum this video up, and then uh, let's show you some ranks on this thing. All right, this thing is absolutely a very good race car. It's not great. It's not top 10 on track. It is currently just outside the top 20, but I've tested 52 cars, so it's in the top section. It definitely does well. It runs Arian in a 256, which is great. And uh, so I would definitely recommend this. This is a great secondary or B car. If your friend is not as fast and you wanna keep the races very competitive, this is a great car to go to because it still handles well and it races well, but it's not like top tier fast. It is very good though. It's got very good top speed. It's got, uh, it kind of is comparable to like the BRZ or uh, or even the Evo 9. It's very close to the Evo 9. So anyway, that's that being said, this is great for track racing. Um, not, not the best, but great. As far as drag racing goes, it's actually not that great. It's in the bottom half of the cars that I've tested. It's got an 8.93 quarter mile. Not really anything you can do to make it any faster. It is what it is. Don't use it for drag racing. Drifting, it's fun, but it doesn't score very high. So I would not recommend it too much for drifting. But off-road, this car is elite off-road. It is definitely top 10 off-road. I would 100% recommend it. This thing is brilliant off-road. And I never thought I would say that about this car. I didn't even think this car was going to be fast, to be honest with you. It's fast. It is a fast off-road car. It keeps up with the Fox body. It keeps up with the BRZ. It is a very good off-road car, and I would recommend it. You can definitely some uh, you can definitely surprise some people with this car if you take it to an off-road race. This is this is a good off-road car, definitely. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Listen, I really appreciate you being here, and if you made it this far in the video, man, you guys are you're absolutely phenomenal, and I appreciate every single person. Thank you so much for watching and shout out to all the militia subs. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.